Hey guys and welcome to the fourth part of our winter to C++ tutorial and today we are going to print something inside our window but before we print something inside our window we will rearrange our window a little bit betterly so let's jump into our code so this is what our code was at last time the first thing I will do is I will separate this function and uh, put it below the main function that we usually do and at the above I will just give its name as a function prototype now it's the function prototype and our function is here the second thing that we will do is we are using C style of type custom but we will try to implement C++ style of type custom now C++ has many various kinds of type custom but for this one purpose, I will be using reinterpret cast. So we will reinterpret cast this one. So let's reinterpret cast this color flame integer, color window flame integer to our age bus. And it's going to cast reinterpret, uh, reinterpret cast the color flame to age bus. Another thing that we will, I will like to tell you is that we are using null pointer and this is how C++ defines a null pointer and a zero and differentiates between both the things but you can also use the, the win32 defined kind of null pointer that is capital null and it will also make the thing null pointer but we are using C++ so we will be concentrating on null pointer and uh, that's it now we will add some functionalities to our window and the first thing we will do is we will draw something in our window so to do that we will have another case or another window message that's case wm paint and what it does is it paints something or it draws something to the window now it has some default things to use so I will just encapsulate the code here inside the brackets and uh, the first thing we will have is the first thing we will have is that we will be using a rectangle a rectangle is a shape that's something you can take this as a rectangle and our window itself is a rectangle so we will use a rectangle I will call this as a rect or win rect and the size of this rectangle will be the size of our window the next thing we will have is and h dc that's that means a uh, handle to the device context or the device area where you are going to draw something or change the style and I will call this small hdc and I will have a paint struct I will call this ps now begin our painting we will say that hdc will load hdc to our device context and to do that we will use a function in build function called begin paint and it takes two parameters first is the handle to the window that is hwnd and the second thing is a pointer to the paint struct we will use paint struct that we, that we mentioned as a reference and we have our drawing handle we will end drawing that is end paint and that's it and inside the begin paint and end paint whatever we will include is going to change the client area of our window so first thing is that we will get the client area of our window using this win rate so how we will do that there is a function called get client rect and uh, this will get the rect of the window and uh, put it inside this rect structure and now if we go to the definition of this rect structure you can see that it has a left a top a bottom and a 
right that means it has a starting coordinates and a width and a height now it has two parameters the first is the window in our case our window is hwnd and the second thing is the rectangle and I pointed to it because we are going to change its value from a function call so we will pass it by reference and we will say and now we have the size of our window inside our rect so now we will use a function called draw text to draw something in our window so type draw text and uh, it it takes some parameters first is the handle to your device context that is hdc second parameter is the text you want to draw and for me i will like to draw hello world and next is something that's related to the indent and i will set it to minus one and the next thing is the pointer to our drawing rect and we have our rect so i will just pass our rect and at the last parameter you int that means uh, unsigned int and, and the messages that contain the structure of this format are usually for dot draw text are started are using usually started with dt so dt center and this will make our text centered the next thing i want to do is make it a single line so i will type dt single line and last but not the least i will make it vertically centered so i will make dt be centered Now, if we run this program, we can see that hello world is written at the center of our window. And whenever, and one thing more, let's make our window have the resize functionality. And we will add our resize functionality by making the window style overlap window. And now, that we can resize our window here by this function get client rect and this rect is passed to the drawing text area and the drawing text rect is by default this huge rect and the text is written at the center of this rect 